Hey, I'm Randall Wall, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I was actually, uh, I grew up in a really small place in the northwest called Beaver Creek, and there's nothing there but a feed store and a gas station. But um, my, we moved around a lot. My dad was a forest ranger on Mount Rainier. He's a mountain ranger, and so I, I grew up in a, a, spent several years in a cabin. When he was a ranger, he'd be over the summers, we'd live in a cabin on the, on the slopes of Mount Rainier. And then in Oregon, uh, where I grew up, we uh, had a great time. We built our own house. We were very, very poor, and uh, I think I was like 13 or 14 before I got a steak that was big enough at dinner because we raised our own cows, but mom would grind it all into hamburgers so it would go far, farther with six kids. And so it was good. I uh, grew up, went on a, a mission for the LDS Church, spent two years in Spain, and then I went to, uh, after that I was in the military, I was in the U.S. Army for five years in Germany. And, uh, and I lived over there in Germany and spent time in Germany and North Africa and some other places uh, after that. I like to read a lot. That's probably my number one favorite thing to do, that. Fishing. I like to shoot too as well, but uh, I'm a vegetarian so I don't hunt anymore. I would have to say that my passion is helping other people. I have uh, been blessed with the opportunity to go out and serve others. I have been to, to Guatemala and translated for doctors, kind of like uh, Doctors Without Borders, where they turned me into a translator and a, uh, a doctor's assistant. So, you know, hold here and tie there when it comes to stitches and, and things like that. And I've had no training, but my last experience in Guatemala, I can remember we were operating on this old lady on a, on a wood table inside of this wood shack, which was the local hospital, and there was no... There was a window in front of us right there and then one over on the side and there was no glass and I had a pig looking in this window over here and a turkey in this window here when we were, we were operating on this old lady. But it was a great experience. I've been able to uh, work with uh, orphanages in Morocco and most currently I work with refugees in Salt Lake from uh, Nepal. and. We uh, have a charity that we sponsor and support in Nepal where we now have 181 uh, children, mostly girls from 4 to 14 that we're putting through school and we provide health care and uh, dental care as well as uh, education. And so uh, I'm married, let's see, my wife's a doctor, um, she founded the charity, she's from Nepal and uh, life is just generally really good. And Thanks for taking a moment to get to know me.